G'day, g'day, it's Ducky here and I hope you are well. Today I'll be showing you another camp build. Before I jump right in though, if you are new here, please show me some love by clicking the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be kept up to date with future camp builds. And also follow me on all my socials, which are all linked in the description box down below. Now, let's get into today's tour. We are back at Camp McClintock with another Throwback Thursday build, McClintock Estates. McClintock Estates is just a short stroll from Camp McClintock. It's sort of a flat area on a cliff, so if you follow this road down and turn left at the car, you will find the spot right up here. Both homes have a similar layout, but the decoration differs slightly. Let's have a look at house number one. Heading up the front porch, I have a few plants and a nice bench to sit on. Moving on inside, we have the cosy kitchen and a small dining room. We have the bathroom through this door. I use the flag as a curtain and the bar as a sink. The screen door leads to a small, lightly decorated balcony with a beautiful view of New River Gorge Bridge. Heading up the stairs, this is the cosy living space, complete with a bedroom, sitting area, storage and office. So that is it for the first house, let's check out the second one. The front porch is a little different with the banjo and the statue. I used the cement stairs as the wooden ones weren't long enough. What is this? Um... The kitchen and dining is set up differently and I've also added a small bathroom. Here is the balcony. I added some smaller plants to avoid interrupting the view. Here is the bathroom. The only difference is there is no curtain on the window. And lastly, the upstairs living. The colour scheme is completely different and the room is more colour coordinated. Plus, I am a very big fan of blue. Of course we need a shed. In the original build I had the workshop against the cliff face behind me which is where the water purifiers are now and this used to be a small farm. All the workbenches are here with the tinkers bench tucked in with the fusion generator. Oh and the collectron. I know I said previously I wouldn't be using it but the wasteland does get lonely sometimes and it's good for the company. And that, my friends, is the full build. I do hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and follow me across social media. The links are down below, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!